Welcome back, everybody! Frostpunk, by golly. I did a full chronological playthrough of the entirety of the scenarios and the story in preparation for Frostpunk 2. Now, that was a while ago that I did that, but it's linked. I'll link it. You know, it's available. Go check it out sometime. But, uh, you know, I've been kind of thinking about this game, and I remembered that it had this endless mode. And, you know, I, I played through all the stories, and I was just a little bit curious about what this endless mode even might be here. And I am going to fire one of these up and give it a try. So if you if you enjoyed my uh, Frostpunk playthrough before, <laughs> wish me luck here. We'll see what happens. Um, so it looks like we got three options. Serenity for constructors. Plenty of resources, mild weather, and short blizzards. Build the city how you see fit. Okay, that sounds great. The builders for pioneers. No heating, no support. Harsh weather incoming. Build the generator. Oh man, build the generator and try to survive. Yikes. Um, okay. Or endurance for survivalists. Scarce resources, bitter cold, and frequent blizzards. Every day will be a, structure, uh, a struggle. We'll try this. Um, we got to build the generator, though, and the ARCS campaign was definitely one of my, my weak points. Um, let's give it a shot, and then we've got map selections here. I wanted to do this the rifts. The place for Generator 266 was picked on a rocky shelf near the former seashore. To grow the city, a way to cross the network of rifts will be needed. Basically, these bridges. So that's going to create some interesting issues in terms of what, uh, like, heating. Like, we won't just be able to build directly around the generator once we get to these outer areas. So, looking forward to that. There are some other ones, you know, Hanging Rock. I mean, that looks like the Winter Home Bridge, basically. Oh yeah, based on the Winter Home map. Uh, based on the Refugees map, that was a good one. Um, Frozen Grove, based on the Arcs map. Crags, Canyon, Flats, eh, it's irrelevant. I'm gonna go with this Rifts. Um, medium on everything is fine, random, ooh, Settlements. You'll find other settlements in the Frost Land which can help you deal with random hazards. So I have to turn random hazards on, I bet. Well, yep, okay. You can't just have settlements and not have random hazards. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, well. All right, rifts, medium difficulty. Let's see what we can get into here. Oh, gosh. Um, so a story, well, a non-story mode here. We'll just have to see what this even, what this even is. Man. So we had one. A rocky beginning. The generator we were building has exploded. Upon our return to London, we found it ravaged by violence and chaos. We took our families and fled to our construction site, the only place that offered any hope. Now our task is even harder than before. We have to rebuild the generator from scratch. First, we must clear the ruins and find the generator plans. There is no time to waste. The weather will keep getting worse for 50 days, then it will go crazy. We will not survive without the generators. Yeah, so this is this is a survival mode. Like, at some point, it's just going to be terrible. Oh, gosh. Okay, pause. Oh. Chillville? <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. It's got to be. I mean, the game even auto-generated Chillville. Okay, so we're going to pause. Let's see what we even have here. Oh, wow. Okay, so we, we already have lumber. Well, steel wreckage, wooden ruins. Generator ruin. Okay, well, we need people to start cleaning that out, I think. Gonna have to build some roads, it looks like. What else do we have? Steel, steel. Steel. Coal pile. Hmm. Gonna have to get some sawmills going for uh, this lumber. We already have a bridge, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Over there, wood. Not much coal, though, on the whole. 
Do we even have like steel? Steel. We're gonna need a bridge to get over there. Presumably right there. Destroyed steam core transport. Oh interesting. Okay. Coal deposit, good. We've got we've got some opportunity for some coal. I do not want to go with coal thumpers if I don't have to. Because those require you have to have the workers to like collect stuff. Oh gosh, what do we have? What is it? Coal pile, coal, coal. Coal, coal deposit. Coal pile. Do we have oh iron ore deposit? Boy, way way over there. Is that our only source of iron? Let's see. Tell you what, I would generally turn off like ambient occlusion and depth of field and that sort of stuff, but it's just so ooh. destroy steam core transport. Steel wreckage. Oh no. Where is I mean Okay, there's iron way over there. Coal there, iron there. Boy, we might have to, I mean, that, get, getting to some additional steel, I think, is going to be important because once you start talking about upgraded bunkhouses and stuff, you need a lot of steel. Coal. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Um... Yeah, so we've got, I mean, do we just have, like, access to everything in Book of Laws? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, boy. We'll, prob we'll probably go the way of the church. Um, but first things first, got to get to these extended shifts. Oh, boy. And soup. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We'll sign this first. Emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. It allows us to force a facility to work for 24 hours. People are going to hate that. Um, boy, if that is our only iron ore deposit. Well, boy, I need to get I need to get research going here too and housing. So we got engineers. Let's do tent, medical post, food. Got a little bit of food right now. That's good. Gathering post. Oh, that could be helpful for, you know, collecting from a number of these. Yeah, that could be helpful. Because if we're building the generator, there are some big buildings that have to be built along, like, the inner circle of the generator. But... I want to get a research. Well, I'd like to get multiple research things going here. So one. I'm not worried about it being adjacent to a street. Oof. Oh gosh, where do we put this? Um, these things are pretty warm, if I remember right. They've got like second level, you know, heat. I just don't know. This, this is not a big area. We're going to have to... I don't know. There's a lot we're going to have to do. But this thing can get cold, and so we can build it back here. And I might as well get two going, because that will help... ...with how... quickly the research goes boy and what do we need here we need well now you know first things first we got to get people collecting this stuff steel ruins steel ruins max max wooden ruins coal pile I mean, do I just build gathering post right in the middle there? It's probably not a bad idea. 
Or it is a terrible, you know, just catastrophic idea, and I'm just not registering it yet. It's tough to say. All right. Let's everybody get to work out. Oh, gosh. First bridge. Sir, we've built the first bridge. Thanks to this construction, we will be able to reach distant resources. Expanding our city onto neighboring areas will be necessary to survive. We should build more bridges. And frankly, they look like they are a lot of steel. Okay, um, so we got a bunch of people still available, so let's just people get to collecting. 60 steel, 60 steel, 25. Some engineers in there. Those engineers are going to be super happy about that. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, all these people are having to walk all the way out there. That's kind of foolish. Um... Yeah, I hope whenever you're seeing this, I hope you were doing well. I, uh... Finished Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Full playthrough on that. And, uh, just kind of in a... I'm, I'm very busy with my reasonably new job. And so I haven't had the time to do a lot of editing and things that I wanted to do. Which is... Kind of leading to me just wanting to continue playing some comfort food sort of games, which is what I'm doing here, so. I hope that you are doing well. Let's see, now people are gonna get hungry. I think I've got, I think I've got, them. yeah, they're working on it, okay. Boy, if I would have built this closer, I wonder if they'd already have that up and running. I kind of bet that they would. Discontent rises if I order 24-hour shifts? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> ah, jeez. I gotta remember what all of this does. Well, like, you know, the different reporting and that sort of thing. Here we go, I need engineers. Okay, we got tech tree now. Ooh, a beacon. Oh man, generator construction. Hunter's gear, so they're bringing in more food. That's gonna be real important for us. Faster gathering, that would be helpful for us right now. What's our time, seven hours? Am I not currently employing engineers? All right, where are my engineers? You guys get started. And research, we'll probably do faster gathering to start. About seven hours, huh? You guys, everybody get out there, by golly. Okay. Yeah, research is happening. So six hours, ah, it's not gonna get done until tomorrow. And we need some more tents. Um, I don't want to destroy any resources. Should help at least a little bit. Going to build, going to work. Might give those hooligans the old 24 hour work order, you know. Get to it. And where do we have some people? Okay, well, I mean, they're all still gathering. Frankly, I'd rather them get done with the iron. Okay. Oh, 
iron just collects so slowly. Steel, rather, excuse me. Six PM. Everybody take take your breaks. Everybody take your breaks. Alright, we need more tents. That'll have to get out of there at some point. Yeah, so that will allow us one. One, two, three. on a road that's not all right what's that bring us up to 65 55 35 15 five we still got five people homeless they can't just crash on somebody else's tent floor you serious need to be a little bit better oh boy if I need to build a church that would be a great location Um, yeah, I can, I can move it later, maybe. There we go. There we go. Somebody go get the, get that built and we will be all set. By golly. Everybody should be sleeping. Got somebody sick? Are you serious? Oh, we got a new law. New law. People getting sick in the middle of the night. Great. Um, extended shift. That will be helpful for us. Extend the work day in any facility to 14 hours. Guess what, research people? You guys are gonna love this. Get to work. <laughs> yeah, look at that discontent. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, I can't turn that up on the, the generator? Alright. Somebody sick who is not getting treated. That's not good. You know, that actually... When it comes time, House of Prayer... One of these leads to a medical facility. I can't remember which one. We're gonna, we're gonna have to look at that. We gotta wait a few more hours. But we might still go ahead and do another medical post. These, these things are also quite warm, so maybe... Way out there. <laughs> if you need medicine, <laughs> you just... You gotta buck up and walk all the way over there. <laughs> it's not that bad. Hopefully not that bad, anyway. Faster gathering research. Alright, Paul. Sawmill, that'll be good for helping gather the wood. Beacons, so we can send out stuff or heaters. What is our heat? What's our, oh, we got temperature drops coming up. Shoot. Gosh. Uh. Boy, hunter's gear, well, heaters, oh, I don't even have enough wood, okay, well. I don't even have enough wood for that either, okay, well. Do I have any redundant roads? Um, just get rid of that, maybe. <laughs> I don't, actually. I really don't have any extra road right now. But, I mean, I could disconnect some from some people's houses. Well, you know what? People just need to get to work. Who? What's getting this one? Get out there. Wooden ruins and wooden ruins. Okay. Everybody get out there. Yeah, our, uh... There we go, there's 10 wood. I 
think what we do is hunt hunter's gear because food is going to be a problem then heaters and then probably drawing boards to get down to the next one so we can get bunk houses because if people are living in cold houses they are going to be getting sick all the time like they just did <laughs> well gosh yeah and then the drawing boards and maybe um Maybe the heaters, then. Whoop. Wooden ruins depleted. Great. Steel wreckage over there. That's going to take quite a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and get working on that. I don't know, there are a number of places where it may behoove me just to build gathering posts that can hit all three of these, but I just don't know right now. All right, we need to get that built. And then find some, oh, my head engineer is available, great. Sick absences, yeah. Okay, we are going to need to build a cookhouse here real soon. I saw that something else just got done. Now, let's see. I feel like people have to go to the cookhouse for food. Oh, no! No, I didn't want that. Can I get the... Did it already destroy the resources? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, go ahead and get some people out there working on that steel. I mean, if I already did it, gosh darn it. All right. That was, that was an accident. Let's keep it rolling. Research should be done. Ooh. Wooden ruins depleted. Good. Hunter's gear researched. What's next? Coal thumper steel works. That's going to be, yeah. That will be important. Heaters probably first. Those are only going to matter at buildings like this. It's not going to help heat. Not all hope is lost. Our engineers managed to piece together plans of the generator from fragments we found clearing the ruins. Now we can start building it. Maybe we aren't doomed yet. Research and build the profiles manufacturer, then produce eight structural profiles. This will allow you to set up the shaft structure. You must hurry. The weather will go crazy around day 50. <laughs> Great. Jeez. Um, when even this game is describing how things are going to go crazy, you know that the, you know, it's, it's going to be concerning. We got, we got to get this stuff out of here. And you know what else we need to do is get a oh, hunter's hunt. Yeah, okay. We don't have, we don't have enough anything, frankly. We don't have enough anything for stuff. Actually, you know, we, yeah, okay. Yeah, people are bringing in lumber. That's good. Got a lot of people gathering wood right now. Steel, steel ruins depleted. We'll just put one person in there making some food. Wooden crates. Oh, 120 out there. By golly. And go none on that for now, and we'll go right there. Yeah, that'll that'll help a little bit. I can't recall what it is that I click so that I like turn off. Like we don't want to gather coal. We only want to gather this other stuff. Might not even be possible, frankly. 
I might be hallucinating. Who knows? But I am gonna need to build hunter's huts. And these things barely need heating. Yeah, base heating level two. I might need to build a gathering thing out here. Legit, like, already running out of space. Wooden crates, wooden crates, coal, steel. Get this stuff cleaned up. End of shift. Keep going, research. I have faith in you. Nice. Heaters, good. Um, beacon or drawing boards? I am, I do want the beacon. But I don't have, oh boy. Oh, well, I don't have enough wood for that anyway. So we'll, do, we'll go ahead and get started on the beacon. Okay. I also did not actually build Hunter's Hut. 20 wood. New law, okay. We can do soup, which will make our food go further. But I think that I need to focus on... Get it? Yeah. We're going to go house of prayer. We're going to do this. We have to build two houses of prayer. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted to see that. Yeah, house of healing. There it is. Shrines. We gotta do shrines. Okay. We can do that. Um, Alright, we got somebody sick. You know what? Just make your way up there to the medical post. <laughs> Just walk, walk yourself up there, please. Should have built a house of prayer a long time ago. Come on, lady. Cut me some slack. Um... I know, I know you guys don't like working overtime shifts, but believe me... We need it. Okay. Bunch of people in free time. Probably going to start getting sick overnight, aren't you? Yep. Gosh darn it. We got to get to those bunk houses. This is, this is like the warm part right now, you know? And people are already not making it, you know? Well, they're getting sicker. It's not that they're not making it, but... Wooden ruins depleted. That was quick. Good. Max, 2.4 per hour, good. You guys should be able to get there. Beacon researched, good. Um, ooh, bridges. 150 steel. 200 wood, gosh. Generator, shaft structure. No, 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 no. We are not there yet. Um, Hunter's hut. Boy. Can get one right there. Where do we have individual people still working? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Before I build too much new stuff, can we get the drawing? We still don't have enough wood. I'm in a sawmill. Up to 80 wood per standard workday. 
much rather get started on this, though. What do we need? Nine more wood? Who's working on wood? Where can we... We got people who are hungry. There we go. Drawing boards. Get started. Switching between buildings. Okay. We're already filling up on steel. Hey, I mean, that's something. Frankly, not great. Um, This is, it's not going to be too much longer and that's going to be gone, so we'll just, we'll just leave that going. We might need to build, oh. Might need to build a uh, resource, no, okay, we are hilariously short on things. People are getting hungry. 16 per hour, good. We got the raw food, so you guys should be able to make that happen. Wood. Okay. Yeah, we're about to fill up on steel. Can we build another resource depot? Not yet. Steel ruins depleted. Um, these things don't even need to be heated. So, boy. Okay, well. been building in very questionable ways here. <laughs> Can now research tier one technologies. Great. 